Hey, hey, hey! This is a quick video of a pergola that I'm building in my backyard. Let's get her done! Hey, hey, hey! Cranbrook is the sunniest city in all of BC. My backyard faces due south, so sunshine is plentiful. For this reason, I'd like to construct a shade structure, a pergola. If I'm going to be relaxing in the shade under the structure, I'll need to prevent my psycho neighbor's peeking eyes out of my business. I've done a different vid on the privacy screen build. Hey, hey, hey! Today we're going to start a 8 by 10 pergola. I got the pegs marked out 8 feet by 10 feet and I got it all nice and square. First step, dig some holes. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Here we're gonna get at second hole here today. First one went in okay, and then we'll have two more after this guide. Let's get her done. My home has open post and beam timbers on the front and also on the back of the house. The beams have a quarter round radius cut into the end and they sit on three foot wide corbels that are on top of eight by eight inch posts. Copying what's already on the house, I'm gonna use the same dimension timbers with the corbel cuts for the four posts and beam framework for the pergola. Hey, hey, hey. here's the timbers. Got the four posts that are eight by eight, the two beams that go across that are eight by 11, and then an eight by 10 piece, 12 feet long. We're gonna cut it into three foot sections and we're gonna put a corbel on the end of each one. Let's get her done. Oh. 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 Cutting the 12 footer down, I now have four three foot long pieces, so I need to bandsaw a corbel into each end of them. 36 inch corbels all complete. Next up, need to work on the beams. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I got the uh, big beam up on the car hoist. This guy's 8 by 11. Got the corbel all drawn in on it. I have the bandsaw sitting on a base with four swivel polyurethane casters so I can move the bandsaw blade along the 14 foot beams corbel cut line. So we're gonna give her a cut. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, after Corbel's cut into the ends of the 14 foot 8 by 11 inch beams, next up is loading the posts and getting them into the backyard. Let's get her done!
Hey, hey, hey. Okay, the poles are in the back of the truck. I'm gonna get them unloaded and get them deposited into these four holes. Eight feet apart, 10 feet long, three feet deep. Got the uh, cement, gravel, sand. Let's get her done. Okay, two down and two to go. Scare done. Hey, 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 so four 12-foot posts into the three-foot deep holes. Thank you, Tom, for your muscle. Okay, so we're going to put some uh, two-by-six on the bottom and get them so they're all spaced perfectly. Then we'll dump some concrete in there. Let's get her done. Okay, so we've got a couple of the posts all nice and plumb. Coming along good. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we got her all braced up. Everything's plumb. Everything's square. And we got uh, some cement mixing. Put some cement in those holes and get this guy all anchored down. Let's get her done. Two of the posts all cemented in. That guy's got about halfway. We got one full batch. See if we can stretch this and get this all filled up. They're done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let the cement dry on the post for a couple days. Today I'm going to take the braces off, trim the posts down to 7 feet and get the corbel screwed on to the top. Turned out really good, everything's all nice and flush, level, let's get her done. Okay the 3 foot corbel's all ready to go and we're going to get this beam in the back of the truck. Take it in the backyard and stand it up along with this guy. Let's get her done.
Getting them all out. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, strapping's all gone. Got it all loaded in the back of the truck. And we're gonna get it getting some stain on these guys. A lot easier down here. Then it is eight feet off the ground. Let's get her done. Beauty. Okay, so we're cutting these babies down to seven feet. That's good. Right on the soccer. Good job. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so following what's on the house, we're gonna put these three foot corbels on the top of these posts. And then the beams will run across from post to post. So we'll get these corbels up there, get them screwed down. Let's get her done. Okay, so we got those guys up. Everything's all nice and flush, square, level. Anything else I could think of? Next step, get these guys up there. Let's get her done. Yeah, well, I before. Nobody on the floor. That's always for us. Yeah. Okay. Watch 
I'll stop down my slide towards you. Yeah, I got it. That was a good you guys one. got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's good this it's, I'm just going to slide it over to the middle of the ladder. Okay. 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 Top of here. Right yeah. top of this piece. Yep. Up. Ready? Up. Keep her coming. Yeah. Okay, good down. Okay. Oh, heads. Take that strap. Straighter <laughs> center. Okay, get it straighter where you want. Yeah. Okay, you're on the center. Oh, oh cross. Oh, good God. In case of a couple of you guys go down, yeah, yeah. 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 and we'll lay it flat when we get yeah. up there. Ready? Up. Okay, now this okay, one. Oh, wait a sec. Use that, uh, this fancy one here. Yeah, you don't have gloves here. Everybody? Yeah. Okay, hang on. In she comes. Yeah. She down. Jeez. Then they're okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. then you can come over on this ladder too. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right oh. Okay, I'll hold this side. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that ladder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fingers. Yeah. Good. Just the back. Just the yeah. You want to back up a bit? Yeah. Well, that's even better yet. Yeah. yeah. I'll be able to tell when he's breaking. That's right. Three guys. Okay. Go. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used it all except for that one. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's just a standard. Yeah, yeah. Use your legs, not your back. Hey, hey. Okay, what's so with the beams up? I'm gonna measure off 13 and a half inches off the post and corbel, and. Make sure it's centered on the post. Screw it down. We're gonna add the brackets later. Okay, yeah, here at the lumber yard, we're gonna pick up some timbers. Okay, we're all loaded up. Let lots of air in the springs. Truck looks pretty good. We'll uh, get this guy home. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'm working on getting these uh, 14 foot two by eights. Uh, cut down to 13 feet with a corbel cut into each end. Okay, made a template for the quarter round radius corbel cut and traced this onto the end of the 2x8. Okay, got the 2x8 uh, clamped down and we'll run the bandsaw over it, cut out a corbel on the end. Get her done! Okay, that took a bit, but I finished cutting 16 of these 2x8s down to 13 feet and cut a corbel into each end. Next, I'll hit the radius cut with a belt sander to clean up the corbels a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
the two by eights all cut to size and a corbel cut on each end and sanded we're going to take these two by sixes and cut them in half uh, two by six will become two by three and these guys will go on top of the two by eights and hopefully help keep the two by eights all nice and straight and in line Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, to uh, rip these uh, two by sixes in half to make a two by three, the best way to cut it is with a seven and a quarter circular saw with a guide on it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, next we're going to take the two by sixes that we cut in half, which are now two by threes, and set them up on the saw, cut them all down to 10 feet. With all the pieces squared up on the radial arm, we'll take the uh, now good end, stick it in the corner of the stop block, and we'll cut these guys down to 10 feet. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, with all the two by sixes ripped in half, all the ends all nice and square, and all cut down to 10 feet, we're now gonna use the hole saw on a drill press, and we're gonna cut a corbel in the end of the two by three. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. I have 24 of these two by three purlins that all need to be drilled like this with the hole saw. So 48 corbels cut and then sanding the ends of all the purlins. This strapping will go on top of these 16 rafters that will be evenly spaced on top of the 11 by eight beams. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we're gonna load all these two by eights up and all these two by threes and we're gonna have ourselves a little staining party. Let's get her done.
Okay, we got everything in the backyard. So we're gonna get these guys all stained up on the tables. And then we're gonna pop them up on the beams, get them all screwed down. Let's get her done. Hey, 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 this is the first of 40 boards to stain. to go. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Next, we'll figure out the spacing between all these two by tens and get them screwed down. Let's get her done. So I made a little spacer block and ran a string, put the same size spacer block on the end. And this guy fits in behind and then everything's all in a nice row. Put in uh, some four inch screws and tighten her all down. Let's get it done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, with all those rafters all set, we're gonna screw them down. So we'll drill a hole. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and prevent the twisting, so I'm gonna put two on either side toe nailed toe screwed in on everyone let's get her done hey 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 so i've cemented in the eight by eight inch posts with the three foot corbels on the top, the 14 foot beams placed across, and then the 16, 13 foot rafters are all secured. All that is left are the top purlins. The two by eight rafters are likely to warp, so the purlins screwed down on top will hopefully prevent any movement. The purlins are two by threes and there are 24 that'll be spaced six inches apart. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I got all the top strapping all stained. And it'll go up on the top there. So with the bottom of the rafters all screwed, a few of them are already warped a bit on the top. So starting with the first purlin, I started at the end and screwed it down, then secured a few more that measured correctly and are straight up and down and perpendicular. Hey, hey, hey. So I got a difficult one here. I'm out by this much and I cannot, I can move it just a little bit. I gotta get it over that quarter inch. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, Put a screw in here. So I'll take the end of the ratchet strap and hook it on to a temporary screw. 
and hook this end onto this screw, I'll then do it up. And we'll see if we can get this guy moved over. There we go. All nicely done. Drill myself a hole. Pop in a four and a half inch screw. Take the ratchet strap off. And she stayed nicely. And ditch the temporary screws. Hey, hey, hey. So this guy's twisted really good. It's off by probably five eighths of an inch. So take a temporary screw and put it in the top here. Get the ratchet strap set. And that should just about do it. Next one looks ugly, too. Hey, 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 okay, I got the first one all in place. Everything measures out great. And all rafters nice and vertical. So now I'm gonna continue on and put the rest of these two by threes on the top here. I got a string set up with the spacer block and we'll screw it down after we get them all nice and set. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, things going good. Got uh, about 10 of these uh, two by threes up, all screwed down. Looks pretty good. Uh, everything's all nice and square. Few more to go. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, okay, I got it all screwed into place. Just putting in the final screws. Hold everything down. Let's get her done. Hey, okay. All screwed down. See if that prevents any warpage. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so on the house, the uh, corbels post and the beam that I copied have these brackets. So I, uh, Took a couple off and had enough for four posts and beams with the corbels made. Just giving them a little sand and a shot of some semi-gloss flat black paint. We're gonna put those guys up on here so they match the house. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I got uh, one painted and clamped into place here. Got 11 32nd bit and put in half inch, four inch long lag bolts. Hopefully that stops any beam, corbel, post twisting. 
get her done. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, on the end I've got a washer. I've drilled the hole. Straight away it became clear that the rigid hammer drill didn't have enough power to drive these half inch lag bolts. So a very kind neighbor offered up his air automotive impact wrench that is used for car wheel lug nuts. It was better, but it too struggled driving these bolts in. So a different very kind neighbor offered up his Makita 9 amp 3 quarter inch square drive corded impact wrench. This beast weighs 12.4 pounds and has 435 pounds of torque. This guy had no trouble walking a 4 inch long half inch lag bolt into the solid fur. As my project advisor Larry says, definitely the right tool for the job. With all 16 brackets bolted down, she is finished. Turned out to be a great idea to use the same dimension timbers that existed on the house. Definitely fits in very nicely. The post beam and corbels to make an exact match of what is on the back and on the front of our home. And with that, it's Miller time. Thanks for watching.